Hello my friends, hello fellow sketchers, and welcome back to my drawing channel. And in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to draw uh, Professor Utonium from the Powerpuff Girls cartoon. So without further ado, let's get a sketch in. So I've got my blue pencil here. And I'm just gonna sharpen this to make sure that I've got a nice point on it. And then we're just gonna prepare and plan sort of how we're gonna draw this character. Now with Professor Utonium, it's a lot of um, sort of square shapes, a lot of uh, straight lines and things like that. So ideally what we want to try to do is just sort of give ourselves uh, the shape of his head. So we're going to start by creating a nice, uh, very sort of blocky square shape, just like so. This bottom part where his chin would be, we're not actually going to connect that in any way uh, to the sort of uh, back of the head here. We're just going to bring this line down to create the neck just like so. So that means that his sort of head is freestanding from the body there. And what we're going to do sort of halfway down this line is just add a little square for his ear, just like so. And there you've got sort of the, the plan of his head. Uh, you've got the, the sort of plan of his head, sort of shape his head area just here, just like so. And there we go. You can really see that that is already making uh, the shapes that we need to, to create this character. Now from here, there's a few quick and easy ways in which we can draw and sketch the face. So what I'm going to do is just put a small V shape here to create the collar of his shirt just like so. So nice and quick and simple. And from here, I'm gonna just quickly draw him where the hair would be. And just coming in the few basic lines. This particular line for his hair, so the hairline just across the head here. We're gonna stop sort of around about here. And we're gonna stop around about there because that's gonna bring us down into the face. So once we come up, like this. That's giving us a hair, giving us his hair just like so. But that hairline, as I say, that sort of line just down is going to create where the face is going to be. See, so we're going to connect the nose area, which is a nice straight line down, a simple line across, another small line down. And then just a small smile, so a little flick, just like so. As you can see, the nose then is connected with the hair, so that's bringing everything together. And then just going to adjust his face because his face isn't normally as wide as that. So we're just going to bring his face in a little. That's the importance of sketching things first, is that you can always go back and fix any mistakes or anything like that. Then with this character, the professor, he has these really soft eyebrows. So his eyebrows are nice and thick, but they always seem to be in these really sort of soft looking uh, sort of shapes, just like this. So these curved eyebrows, and that creates a real sort of soft character, a real sort of soft tone to his character as well. So as you can see, the character doesn't have these harsh, aggressive sort of eyebrow lines. They tend to, to curve downwards, creating this sort of subtle, soft sort of look uh, to the character, which is quite nice. And then it's just a simple case of drawing these lines and connecting these with half circles, like so for the eyes, just like so. Nice and easy. So that's pretty much your professor's face, very quickly, very easily, uh, like so. But we're going to connect this up to the body then and just bring the rest of the character to life. So I'm just going to readjust where I want this V, where I want this collar to be. Um, and then from this point here, I'll just use my razor, use my rubber to just get rid of a few bits here. So with this area here, where the neck is just coming a little bit lower, we're gonna connect with a very long V, like so. And that's creating the lab coat area. You can give sort of like a little diamond shape. That's going to give us our little tie. And 
There we go, you can see the character's coming to life. Now, now that we've put the tie on, it's making him look a little bit more official. And these lines here that we've connected to uh, this, this long triangle, I'm just gonna bring a line out either side. So one there and one there. Here we go, here we go. And then we're just gonna bring another really long square, square sort of shape, this, this really long straight line shape. And that's creating our body. Nice and easily. If we put a line here, you can add a pen or two in his pocket. Like so. And then to make the arms, I'm gonna make this very, very simple. So a line out, a line in, down, and in. And that looks like he has one hand clasped behind his back, creating a scientific sort of authority look. There we go. And for the other arm, we're gonna do something simple, something similar as well. Just a quick line down and down. Quick line up and up. And there you can see we have the arm shape, nice and easily. Connect that. Add a small square just inside for a, uh, like a part of the shirt. And then for the hand, there's a few different ways that you can draw the hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw his hand holding on to something just like a test tube. So we're just going to bring his hand up, across and out. And that's the basic shape of your hand because that's going to be your thumb. And then we're going to create this basic square shape like this. One, two, three. So one, two, three, four. Four fingers. And a little bit just at the bottom for the test tube. And then this rounded bit just across the top like so. You can add little bubbles and films and whatever else that you want to, to add. That's a really basic quick hand there for you. Nice and quick. Just add a little bit down the bottom for the trousers. And that is your basic sketch of Professor Utonium. As you can see, we've just used a few basic lines, a few simple square shapes. If I rub out these lines here so that it brings the arms into the body more. And there we go. Nice, quick, easy sketch. The sketch phase is always the, uh, then the most important phase because if you make sure to sketch everything out nice and lightly, you can always rub that out or erase that later and that gives you a great foundation then to switch over to your inks to switch over to your pens and uh, when you switch over to your pens then it will give you the opportunity and give you uh, the time to really sort of draw out all of those extreme lines and really sort of bring the cartoon style to life because then not only are you following what you've already sketched but you can also have a little bit of free reign with controlling sort of what um, kinds of uh, thicknesses you want your brush to be or how dark you want things to be so like the black for the hair and things like that if I just show you on the one that I had sketched out earlier so very very similar as you can see similar sort of character so I sketched this one out earlier um, and it's very similar sort of character difference being is that his face is a little bit smaller on this and a little bit larger on this which doesn't matter so much when you're drawing by hand that you're going to have these sort of intricacies and differences anyway um, and the same I've, I've kept his hand nice and square here rather than individual fingers but again it's just intricacies and differences but you can really see sort of with the uh, the pen so I've, I've drawn out the uh, the sort of thin pen lines and then I've gone around the extreme edge then with a darker, thicker pen as well, just to kind of add that cartoon effect and that cartoon style. And of course, I've done a practice page as well, playing about with a few different um, sort of uh, faces and a few different emotions and things like that. So just checking out how his face would look with different kinds of laughter, smiling and things like that. Uh, because these kinds of practice pages are really important to sort of sketching characters as well. So yeah, nice and easy. That's how we've got our our sketch. And as you can see, it's turned out quite nice, um, quite quickly, quite easily. So what I'll do as well, just add in a little bit in, as I said, on the other page, I've done a few little sort of uh, just emotion sketches. So we'll do the same sort of thing here, just for the purpose of the video. And um, we'll just kind of try to bring out uh, a couple of different facial expressions and things like that. 
so same same exactly the same sort of style just gonna quickly just sketch out where bits would be nice and quick just to kind of give us a an idea so like I say that that part of the hairline look just in the center so that we can draw the nose from there and build the face up directly from that that hairline so again we're gonna bring that nose down cross down I'll bring this up a little bit more and we're just gonna add another line underneath and that's gonna create this smiling face then like this we're gonna keep our eyebrows nice and soft nice and soft like so and then we're gonna add these little small semicircles to make it look like laughter very very quick easy sort of looking face there and that's just giving us that kind of illusion that he's really happy laughing um really enjoying himself there we go just sketching the hair and the eyebrows so that we know that those are the areas that are a little bit darker and things like that so that you've got a laughing face see so it's just very very simple very very quick and easy all these little square shapes again we'll do the same thing so we'll start with the back of the head look straight down to the neck the top and then down on the front bring this across but we're not going to connect that bottom because that's going to become the neck like this there we go just adding in the, the tie and things like that as well and again bring the, the urine add the hairline like so bring that face in a little the hair is always good to just overlap a little as you can see just overlaps the face slightly so if the face comes here it's nice to have the hair to just slightly overlap just like so and then again we're just going to bring that nose nice long nose straight back in down and then this time we're going to give him a real straight mouth like this just like this this time we'll bring the eyebrows outwards rather than inwards because this will give us a little bit more of a shocked look and from there then we should be able to draw nice big rounded eyes instead and again that's giving us a little bit more of a puzzled or shocked kind of look to the face as well very very cool see so now we have three very different ways of drawing or very different expressions of drawing the same character very very different expressions but very very quick and very very easy to do so just making sure that we've got our foundations and making sure that we've got the 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 the, 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 the sort of square structures to begin with then you can sort of play about with the different faces and play about with the different expressions in a really quick and easy way and you can have a little bit of fun with it as well the important parts are things like keeping that hairline uh, right where you want the, the sort of face to be see that hairline just coming down it gives you a real good foundation for where the nose is going to be and then you can attach those basic lines to create the mouth and then the eyes will go either side of the nose and things like that so keeping the, the sort of hairline and the nose in a similar sort of area will create a really good simple character for this one so there you go that is professor utonium in sort of a, a, a nice sort of sketchy way nice and easy sort of sketch style um you can always go around and ink that then using sort of all different brush pens you know so i've got my extra fine brush pen here and you know just to give you an idea with that just keep in your brush your pen lines nice and straight and then that will really build that cartoon style by having these really sort of defined uh, black lines here you go look at that sketching something out looks great but when you really sort of go around it with the black lines especially things like cartoons you really really do sort of build up the character a lot lot more so like I said these soft eyebrows you can see now where they're just tilting downwards giving that sort of soft expression and we have the eyes 
Let's start then over the side with the U. Just connect that down. There you go, look at this. And I mean, it's up to you what kind of pens you want to use. You can use any kind of fine liner pen to do this sort of style. Um, I'm just using the extra fine brush pen. I like the sort of way the brush gives me the option to draw um, sort of thick lines and thin lines all off one one sort of pen. And these pens are really easy to find. You don't need to uh, to go searching or scouring the internet to, to find like obscure brands or anything like that. They, they're pretty, pretty easy to find. They're pretty straightforward to find. There we go, how cool is that? How quick and easy is that to sort of sketch out your character? And then build up these sort of ink lines just as you go. And then build up that sort of cartoon style, that cartoon network sort of character style. Just like this. And there you go. So that's, that's pretty much the simple and the basic way of sort of drawing this particular character. Um, the only thing then is you'd use sort of your thicker pens to sort of uh, colour in all of those black areas because the, uh, the, the the fine brush pen is great for, for drawing the outlines but not for doing these sort of uh, thicker, larger areas like this. It won't sort of cover the area so well, it's, uh, it's too thin a pen. But the thicker pen like this then will allow you to really sort of build character through the eyebrows, through the hair and things like that. But yeah, as I say, looking back at the one that I had done previously, you know, once you sort of ink around and draw around the outside and use, uh, like I say, the thicker pen like this one to just go around the, the outer edges if you wanted to, you know, like this. So once you go around the thicker edges and leave the thinner edges, the thinner pen lines on the inside, that creates that real cartoon effect and that real cartoon look just like that. And so, yeah, you could do that. And that will give you the sort of character and, and sort of build up the character in this sort of way. Nice and easy, uh, nice and simple. Really good fun to draw, actually. A really fun, really interesting character. A really, uh, really cool sort of fun character. Um, and it's really, really interesting, actually, to draw him with these really soft eyebrows because you can have fun with the expression with this uh, particular character. Actually, the soft eyebrows really bring the sort of uh, nice kind of uh, lovely kind of character out in this particular one. So, yeah. So there we go, my friends. Uh, that's all you've got to do, really, to sketch out this particular character or to draw this particular character. It's just a few simple basic square shapes, a few cool expressions and things like that. Um, and that's it. So hopefully, uh, I hope that you found this video uh, helpful and informative. And I really hope that uh, that you enjoyed the content. Um, I'd like to draw and, and sort of talk like this a little bit more often. So let me know what you think of this format. And if you've enjoyed it, please give me a, a thumbs up. I do appreciate uh, all of that. So, yeah. Take care of yourselves, my friends. Have fun sketching, have fun drawing your characters, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.